Let's go. Let's enter my name. You know my name. You know I have APV. APV. Uh, let's do okay. Hey. Okay. Okay, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms and all. And, like, she totally oblivious to any attention she may draw to herself. Okay. That girl, sorry, my neighbor is good. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh, wait, let me, let me I need to do something real quick. I need, I need change. change. Alright, let's, let's load into the game, save I have. Okay. So we should be good. All right, all right, fine, fine. But you did not. But you did not wait for me at all. Oh, hi. Right. I guess you don't have any other to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. No, 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 no. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets became increasingly. Uh, spectacle with other students making their daily commute. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because of the voice. By the way, hi, ABB. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in those clubs, and I'm not really interested in those clubs. I haven't been looking either. Um, uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Did I? I think you're lying. You're lying on your ass. Oh gosh, this guy. I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations, what I dismissed the go along with whatever she's going on about. So I like to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content. Just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey, I do that. The fuck? I fucking blame. Hey, I do that shit. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college, you fucking dick! Oh, uh, sorry. You sound very mad about that, huh? So sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to make you mad. <laughs> your happiness is really important to me, you know. I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a knee! A knee! In a few years, because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck? <laughs> trust me, right? Mmm. Yeah, trust her. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Right, right. Gosh, let me be a neat and look. Let me let me be a neat in private, bro. Let me be a neat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought that was right. I look at few clubs. If it makes you happy, no problems, is though. Well, you at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Stupid ass motherfucker. <laughs> Outside, you fucking bum! You fucking bum! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Why? What did that? I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Dude, my fucking wallet is filled with flies and shit, bro. I have no money. I'm broke. I'm broke right now. Anyways, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she exaggerates everything inside her head. Wow. School days as, as an ordinary as ever. And it's over before I knew it. So I packed up my things. I stared, stared blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. My favorite club. The club that I go to every day. No, I don't. I don't go to the anime club. I do not do that. Hello! 
Sorry. That's why I must have came into the classroom while I was facing out. I looked around and realized I'm the only one in this fucking room. Why am I only oh, why am I the only one here? I thought I'd cut you coming out of the class, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. You look like a fucking weirdo. I think it's hard. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You fucking bum. Sorry. What the fuck? You don't. Oh shoot, this is me. You don't need to wait up for me. If it's going to make you late to your own club, it's okay. I'm a nonchal. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. She blushing. She blushing. You blushing, sorry. Or are you blushing. She blushing. Know what? What oh, no. You come to my club. Sorry. Yeah. There is no fucking way I'm going to your club. I'm sorry, sorry. But literature club, that is boring. Boo. Anime club, yeah. <laughs> ah, mini. Sorry, it's the vice president of literature club. Not that I was ever aware that I, she had any interest in literature. But she looks like a dumb. <laughs> no, sorry, looks like a nice person. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to have help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Wow. In quotations, by the way. Yeah, Vice President. Vice President, by the way. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the Amber Club. Come on, please! Please, 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 please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would be a new member. Oh, no. And not soggy, make cupcakes and everything. Yeah. Don't make promises you can't keep. Stop making these promises you can't keep, bro. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so... Cunning as <laughs> I planned all of this out. Oh. I left out a long sigh. Ha! Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yo, yeah, let's go, fat ass. You want a fucking cupcake that much, you fucking fat ass. Uh -huh, thank you. Thank you for doing this my fucking way. You know, I, I was going to Amy Club because, you know, there's other fucking fat asses over there. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectfully, dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open that door and says, Everyone! I know my mom! It's here! Here's this loser. Told you, don't call me a fuck. Don't call me a new member. <sighs> I glance around the room. Ah, oh, no! Another voice? I don't want to do it. I don't want to. <sighs> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry, always says nice things about you. Ah! Cecily? You brought a boy? Way to kill the <laughs> atmosphere. Ah! Oh shit, my controller. My controller just drops. Pick that up. Ah. Uh, another voice. Ah! Hi, baby. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Why is your voice so fucking deep? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of baddies. Oh my goodness. You got baddie on the left with the bow, the white bow. Baddie on the right with the purple hair, emo. You know, emo girls, they something else, guys. They are something else. I do love myself some emo girls. 
I love all them emos. Them emos are good. I like them emos. And then the pink hair one. She alright. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. That's lucky. Hmm. The girl with the sad attitude, whose name is apparently not Saki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Oh well. Okay. She's also the one who made the cupcakes. Sorry. I don't know. I, I, how am I supposed to believe her? She's an airhead. How the fuck am I supposed to believe her? You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry. Says that quietly into my ear. Then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is not Saki. All is for energy. She's blessing. And this is Yari, the smartest in the club, and the most one that can probably commit suicide right now. I'm not saying she will. I'm not saying she might. Don't say things like that. No, wait, no, that's not it. Don't say things like that. I'm not saying things. You are gonna fucking commit suicide, you fucking wild bitch. The fuck? Why not? not? <laughs> Yuri, who appears. Uh, comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nasaki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Haha, <laughs> main character over here. Sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again. I have a. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk. But. We were in the same class last year. She was looking at me up and down. I was looking at her, you know. Me and her were just, you know, eye to eye looking at each other. It's just. Them lips. Like, not that good. What the fuck is those lips? Anyways, Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Huh, what the fuck am I saying? I'm the main character. Ha! Ah, she ain't out of my league. She out! She's not in my league! <laughs> she ain't in my league! Ah. <laughs> Get her out of here! She ain't even that good for me! Ah. Uh, I'm the main character. Ah. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too! You, 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 you too, Monica! Why are you stuttering? Sit down, I'm ready to be. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited because I'm fat ass and I want you all the cupcakes. Ah. Then don't be such a fat bitch, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how about I made some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged and form a table. Like, oh, put one right here, put one right here, put one right here. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Nasaki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nasaki grabs a wrap tray. And Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward. Let's take a seat next to Sayori. Nasaki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, wow! Wow! Nasaki lifts the foil off the tray, reveals a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes. Decorated for E D P four four five. No, it's just decorated like little little cats. Oh, look at Monica. She ain't fucking. <laughs> she ain't impressed. She's like, the fuck are these? I seen better. She's smart. She geeking. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I have no idea 
You were so good at baking, Asaki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, grabs one first, then Maka and I follow. Sorry, grabs one first, damn you. Fucking. Fatty couldn't wait. She couldn't wait. Fatty couldn't wait. <sighs> it's delicioso! Why does it say it in Spanish? No, I'm joking. It's delicious! Oh my goodness, it's so good! Like I haven't had more than one before! <laughs> Um, sorry, talks with her mouth full, and Oliver has already managed to get icing on her face. Hey, sorry, there's some icing right there. Let me, let me get that off your fucking face, you messy fuck. Okay, let's keep on going. I turned the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Why are you looking for the best angle? That's like he's quiet. Why are you looking at me? Stop looking at me. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Stop looking at me! Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Rawr. I know you're waiting for me to take a bite. Let me take one right now. Mercy. I finally bit down. The icing sweet. Full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Oh, so you're doubting her skills? Mmm, this is really, really good, man. Thank you, Why, why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this. I haven't, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Gosh, like I did. And I've been hearing some rumors about that. But I don't want to say it. Oh, whoa, whoa! It was so nice. I can't. I can't. 